I am going to be starting a podcast. I've already got some fantastic speakers lined up that I can't wait to have a chat with and then share that chat online with you guys. This is what the podcast art cover looks like. Click the links in the description down below if you're interested. What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Nasser and I'm now a fourth year medical student studying at King's College London and I'm back, I'm vlogging, I'm talking to the camera. It has been quite some time. I've taken a significant break, but I'm refreshed and I'm ready to go. The next couple of weeks as a medical student, are gonna be pretty insane, so let me tell you about it. So next week, I'm starting my emergency medicine and critical care placement block. And given the situation going on in the UK and more specifically in London, I'm not gonna lie, but that has me a little bit worried and a little bit stressed out. From everything I've seen from doctors on social media and all my friends who are doctors that I've talked to working in these hospitals, it seems very chaotic. They're under a ton of pressure and there's so much work to do. But before I even step into the hospital, there's always tons of online learning and online induction to do. And that's what I'm gonna get started with right now. All right, so I'm only a few minutes late, nothing to worry about too much. Let's find the link for this call and get started. So, uh, um, I think you'll have to unmute yourself. And you All right, so we've got a 10 minute break. I've been noting down what I need to do during this induction week, so let me show you. So I'm organizing, well, pretty much my whole life, but also my medical school life on Notion. So over here, I've written down all of the things that I need signed off for my portfolio, clinical supervisor and educational supervisor meetings, clinical skills over here, and then tons and tons of reflections to do on different experiences in the hospital. So here's the massive to-do list that's being generated from this morning's uh, induction sessions. I need to do these things ASAP. I've got a bunch of online learning, IT and computer training, these modules over here. I need to get a lateral flow test, my second one before returning to the hospital tomorrow. I'm gonna to do that this afternoon and I'll take you guys with me. I've also been populating this page with sort of what my day-to-day -day is going to look like over the next couple of weeks. A lot of it is hidden underneath these toggles over here. But yeah, this is my general schedule for my accident and emergency block, intensive care unit, theater, high dependency unit, critical care unit, majors, minors, resus. This is gonna be a very, very interesting placement. Clearly, I've got a lot of stuff to do. I'm gonna go refill my coffee, listen to more of this induction, and then get started with that to-do list. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is call the hospital that I'm gonna be placed at and schedule my COVID-19 vaccine for as soon as possible. So would you like to register yourself for the vaccination? Yes, please. Yes and yes. No, yes, please. Uh, no, after 1 p.m., that sounds good. The second dose you said would be when? Yeah, you ready? Yeah. And your name? Nasser Karma, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, COVID-19 vaccine scheduled. Next thing I'm gonna do is submit my forms for the student ID badge, and then I'm gonna start working my way through all of those online learning modules. It's easy to feel overwhelmed in a situation like this when your to-do list has like 20 different things on it, but you write it down in one place, and start working through it one by one, magically all the stress disappears, things start getting done, and you'll feel a lot better. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a deep breath. Exhale and get started. I'm gonna start with the two most pressing things first, my student ID badge and my online inductions. And then later today in the evening, I'm gonna prepare for tomorrow's basic life support refresher session. I swear this always happens. Whenever I want to film, whenever I start vlogging, I have some massive spot somewhere on my face. Just put a little blur blur on my face and just ignore it. There's no two ways around this. I just have to sit down at my desk and do a bunch of work for a couple of hours. Let's get started. I can't believe I'm gonna do this, but I don't have a better passport style photo than this one. <laughs> It'll have to do. All right, and just like that, the magic of to-do lists. Dun, da, da, da. Tick. All right, seriously, back to work. All right. Decent progress has been made. 
but there's still quite a lot to do. We're approaching 1 p.m. now, which means I'm getting quite hungry, my sister's getting quite hungry, so I think it's time to go make some lunch. Luckily, we already cooked food yesterday, so we have leftovers for today. Yesterday, Nora and I made pad thai for the first time. There's these packets that you can get from Tesco. I'll put a picture of it right over here, and it tastes really, really good. It comes with everything, even the peanuts. So yeah, I'm just gonna put this in a pot, heat it up. Uh, no, I'm just gonna heat the food. Peanut. All right, while that's cooking, I'm gonna fill up the dishwasher and talk to you guys about this upcoming placement. Now, given the fact that there's a global pandemic, there's obviously quite a lot of concern about being in the hospital. How I see it is that I still want to do as much learning as possible. I still wanna be exposed to the clinical environment as much as possible. So personally, I'm not gonna hold back from going to any COVID wards. I'm not gonna hold back from going to any of the high risk areas. I'm just gonna make sure that I wear all the PPE that I need to, I don and doff that PPE in the appropriate way every single time, and I'm as careful as I possibly can be. I am, of course, gonna play the situation by ear. I'm open to changing my mind and changing my opinion as time goes forward and I actually spend more time in the hospital. But this is my thought process and my thinking right now. Crunchy waffle cone. Ah, Do you want to try some? Alright guys, lunchtime is over. I am in my post-food coma, but I've got exactly 15 minutes to get dressed, head out, and go get my second negative COVID test so I can start placement again next week. Also, if you're wondering what I've been filming on this whole day, it looks like this. It's absolutely huge, it's absolutely heavy, but it's fantastic. Anyways, let me get some clothes. Like I said, before I return to the hospital, I need two negative COVID-19 tests. And then they're not sure if they're gonna make us do bi-weekly lateral flow antigen tests when we go back and start going in multiple times a week. It's still to be decided. So our tests are getting done on campus. The first test I did was on Guy's campus, which is the medical school and life sciences campus that I've been going to for the last four years. Today I'm going to Bush House, which I believe is at the Strand campus. I think they study humanities there. I'm actually not even sure. I've been there a couple times to study in their libraries because they're really, really nice. Otherwise, I don't really go there at all. Once clinical placements start, I often feel like I'm I'm running around the place non-stop, always on a mission doing something. Definitely starting to get that feeling again. Man, I really miss walking around London, seeing all the buildings, the people, the cars, the motion, movement. Man, it's been so long at home. Same room, same walls. If you're able to get vaccinated, please do. This beautiful looking building behind me is Bush House over here. That's where I'm supposed to go. I'm not sure where inside, but let's find out. Of course I'm in the wrong place, but at least I know where to go now. Just like that, we're done. Hopefully that test comes back negative and then I'll be all good to go back to placement. Guys, check this out. Behind me, we've got the shard over there. That's where Guy's campus is, where my uni is. And then if we come all the way around here, London Eye, and next to it, Big Ben. I had a bit of a revelation. I feel 
feel like whenever I'm really busy in my life and I've got a lot of different things going on and I feel like I'm running around all over the place, I think that's when I'm most happy. Any one thing, if you do it for too long, it becomes so boring and so monotonous and it just kind of crushes your life and your mental health in a really negative way. And that's one of the reasons that I'm really happy that I've decided to pursue medicine as a career because I feel like as a job, it's one of the most varied things that you can do. No two days really look the same. Obviously, there's going to be similarities throughout all the days, but I think as far as variety goes, medicine is probably a really great career. Just a bit of self-reflection on the way home. Let's go continue with the day. Home. Did you guys miss me? Nothing like coming home and just spreading everything out all over the room. All right, let's get some order in here. All right, before I sit down and get going with the rest of the day's tasks, I want to make a coffee and do some administrative work. Things like checking my emails, booking a doctor's appointment, calling my parents, seeing what my sister's up to, etc. Before I sit down and get deep into that to-do list that you guys saw earlier. So let's go do that. started on some of that admin stuff. Two things left for today. I want to finish all those online courses because I just want to get them out of the way. I hate having them hanging over my head over the coming days for this induction week. And then the next thing that I want to do is prepare for tomorrow's life support refresher session. So it's probably going to be things like how to properly perform CPR, how to maintain an airway and things like that. So I want to have a brief read of the pre-materials for that session so that I can get the most out of it when I'm actually there in person. A couple of you may have noticed already that I've got this nice podcasting arm over here. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you probably know what this is about. But I am going to be starting a podcast. I'll leave a link in the description down below so that you can subscribe to the channel where I'll be uploading the video version of the podcast. And I'll also leave links down below for how you can listen to the podcast. Only audio without the video. I'm still learning how everything works, so I'll have it figured out by the time you see this. But click the links in the description down below if you're interested. Anyways, without further ado, let's sit down and get some work done. <laughs> All right, guys, check it out. Feast your eyes on this beauty over here. Complete, 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 complete. And that is all the online learning modules done. All right, so now the only thing left to do for today is to review the materials for tomorrow's life support refresher session so I can be as prepared as possible. And also this information is useful for me to know anyway, especially since I'm gonna be in recess, majors, minors, you know, patient collapsing, maybe not breathing, not having a pulse is a possible thing that could happen. So I'm gonna record my screen so I can show you guys what it is that I'm doing as I do it. But first, let's get some vibes going in here. How does this look? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Hi, welcome to my Twitch channel. Let me show you guys how I would incorporate something like this into my notes. So these are my medical school notes here. So I'm skimming through the parts that I think will apply to me and will be relevant for me on my tests. Oh, that's our food. With the coronavirus, we're trying to do as little in-person shopping in supermarkets as we can. So we're ordering most of our food to the home. We feel a lot safer than if we were going on mixing with large groups of people in closed spaces like a supermarket. So let's go unpack that food. All right, shopping time with Carmedic. All right, take this off now. Let's unpack. Actually, I'll wash my hands first. This is not me, I promise. All right, so you're probably wondering why I threw everything on the floor like that. It's more efficient to pick everything up in one go at the end and deal with the trash that way than it is to deal with every single individual item of trash one at a time as you're unpacking. All right, all done. All right, 
that's me all unpacked for food. I'm actually quite starving. Nora and I are gonna go cook dinner right now. I think that's where I'm gonna close off this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this productive day of studying from home in preparation for my emergency medicine and critical care block next week. I've got quite a few interesting activities planned at the hospital this week in preparation for next week's vlog. And so I might vlog some of that and take you guys along with me. If you do want me to vlog that, definitely let me know down below. Other than that, if you're not already following me on Instagram, you should definitely check out my page somewhere over here. We recently crossed 100,000 followers on Instagram, which is, it's ridiculous. But anyways, hopefully there's some good content being provided and good value being provided over there. So make sure you follow me if you're not. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a like on it and also subscribe to my channel to see more content from me in the future. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. So let's go do that. All right, left a nice little hole there in the corner. So let's go do that. Go do that. Go do that. <laughs> Why can't I get rid of that hole? <laughs>